Hi, this is Paul Sackett's Good News Broadcast. I'm talking to our good friend Joe Franklin, board member and memory lane, and a man that knows a lot about a lot of things. How are you doing, Joe? Not too bad, but when I hear your voice and I hear your name, I come back to life. Oh, well, you're a great guy, Joe. And uh, t- uh, t- actually, today is, uh, or tomorrow, really, December 12th, 1915, a guy named Frank Sinatra was born in Hoboken, New Jersey. That's you the know guy. this guy. I knew him very well. He was on my show about twice, but I, I knew at dinner with him. I used to go to the Rainbow, uh, Rainbow and Grill when he was singing there with with Pat Cooper, with uh, Pat Henry. I got a lot of great memories of uh, Frank Sinatra. He was a very dear friend. Ninety-nine years old he would be today. That's right. Uh, uh, you, know, you know what always amazed me about Frank? Uh, he made he made hundreds of records. He made concerts every single night of his life. He made 72 great movies. I always said to myself, where did how that one man fit so much into one life? He had a, to, to retain that schedule was a, a gift from God. He had more energy, more vitality than anybody. And I've known everybody in show business all my life. I never had anybody who could squeeze that much into one lifetime, into one career, as Frank Sinatra. Concerts and uh, movies and records. And my God, endless, endless, endless. You know, I had uh, some years ago, somebody had given me, and we wanted to do something with it. We never did, though, something called Our Love. And supposedly that was the first Frank Sinatra recording. Um, so, Our Love is a Dream, but My Memories are My Dad. I love that old song by Frank Sinatra. He sang that probably with uh, with uh, either Harry James or the band that preceded Harry James. I once asked Frank, I said, Frank, how could you have been under contract at one time to three people you were under contract simultaneously? With, with the band leader, Tommy Dorsey, with the band leader, Harry James, and your press agent, George Evans. You want to know what he told me, what, what he said? What did he say? He said, Joe, hearts and contracts were meant to be broken. <laughs> is that tender? Is that poignant? Is that something? Huh? <laughs> he had a great way with words, not, not only with singing, but with words. He was a very glib, uh, incredibly articulate man. What do you think was his... Uh... Um, his, his that specialness. Well, how do you think it, it came about? What do you think? I mean, it was born to certain people, or he was born to phrase. He made every song into a story. It was with the middle, of beginning, and ending. Anybody else just sings it. They sing the words. They sing the lyrics. I'm sure they do well. But when he did it, it became a, a saga, an event. It became you. You were glued from the beginning to the middle to the ending. It was uh, he was a master of, of, of uh, interpretation of, of lyrics. He. He always mentioned the lyricist of every song that he ever sang. And he was very much appreciative of the efforts of the songwriters, and uh, he knew how to interpolate their, their, their deep, uh, hidden, significant meanings into the lyrics of every song that he sang. He was just, he was the master of, of poetry. So did you have him on your radio show, or t- uh, did you have him on your... Once, once on radio, once on TV, once of each. Ah, uh-huh, okay. All right, Joe. Well... You know, I know that you knew him, and I knew that you had interviewed him, and I wanted to share those uh, pearls of wisdom that you always have and, uh, and the goodness and the kindness. Two last questions. What's good news for you, Joe? When I talk to you. That's one. <laughs> and last one. What's peace for you, Joe? What's peace is when uh, I can go home at night and relax and watch my old Joe Franklin TV show. That's the only thing I watch on TV is old reruns of the Joe Franklin show. <laughs> you keep the ratings up. That's my peace, right? I got a one-man rating machine, right? Well, keep me in touch, okay? I love you, Joe. Thanks so much.